Hey guys, if you're new here and you like what I'm putting out, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you never miss an upload. The Morphin Masters, they're like the know-all, see-all in the Power Rangers universe, and in the mid-season finale of Dino Fury, we learnt they created some very important things in the franchise and in other series, such as the Dino Gems, the Energems, and the Ninja Nexus Prism. These things are very important in the Power Rangers universe, allowing our heroes to access the Morphin Grid and Morph. So what else did they create? In this video, I'm going to break it down and try and speculate what these guys created and what they didn't create. So, this is my third video on the Morphin Masters, and I'm sure once Season 2 of Dino Fury wraps up next year, there's probably going to be like 5 or 10 videos made about these guys, with how they've changed the lore and introduced new things into the Power Rangers franchise, so I'm excited to talk about them as the plot thickens with these characters later down the line. Now, in episode 8 of Dino Fury, we learned that the Morphin Masters created the Energems, the Dino Gems, and the Nexus Prism. But way back in season 3 of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, we learned that Ninja learned how to create the Power Coins from the books written by the Morphin Masters. So, many, many years ago, the Morphin Masters wrote a bunch of books and left them in Ninja's Temple. So that is some very interesting bit of information that ties in to kind of what we knew now. So they left information for Ninja how to create the Dino Coins or how to create the Power Coins and the Rangers could use them later down the line. So that's some interesting bit of lore that we can use for today's information when learning about the Morphin Masters. But what else did they create and what didn't they create? Did they create the Quasar Sabers, the Zeo Crystals and other artifacts we've seen in the series? Now the origins of the Zeo Crystal is still shrouded in mystery if you go by the lore of the TV show, but in the comics, in the comics universe, they're sort of expanding on the origins and the backstory of the Zeo Crystal. And although they're two separate universes, it does paint an idea of how the Zeo Crystal came to be, so if you haven't read the comics, I recommend checking that out. So, trying to understand everything that the Morphin Masters created can be a little bit difficult because we don't know everything they created. We can mostly speculate and guess what they have created, what they haven't created, because there are things like technology, like the Rescue Morphers, that were completely made on Earth without any alien help or mystical force. They were created by people. And then you've got other things like the Quasar Saber. Where did that come from? Uh, where did a bunch of other things come from in the Power Rangers lore that we don't know about? So, it's kind of a don't ask questions, don't question it, but with the Morphin Masters revealing that they created some important things in the Power Rangers lore, a lot of people have to speculate and guess what they created and what they didn't create. Now, let's use something mystical for an example, like the Quasar Sabers. The Quasar Sabers are some of my favourite arsenals in the Power Rangers universe. They're ancient swords used by warriors 3,000 years ago to defend the galaxy, and that's all we know about them. And there's a prophecy, sword from the stone, stuff like that, but no one knows where they came from, no one knows who created them, no one knows who these ancient warriors were, so did the Morphin Masters create them? One could speculate because the Morphin Masters have been around for so many years, but why put it on a random planet that not many people visit, or were they on a different planet and the Morphin Masters or the previous uh, Galaxy Rangers found their way to this planet eventually and placed the swords in the stone at the end of their journey? No one really knows at this point, so it's fun to speculate and guess what's up with the Morphin Masters. And I'm hoping later down the line we can figure out what they created and what they didn't create through maybe the lore of the TV show or some kind of data book. I don't know. I don't know. But I would love to figure out what these guys created and what they didn't create so it can kind of clear the air of what we know and what we don't know. Because at this point, at this point it's all speculation on trying to guess what they created. I mean, some of the Morphers you can kind of guess they might have created or given the technology or the blueprints for other people to create, but I would love to see the lore of the Morphin Masters expanded on 
when the show returns sometime this year and moving forward into season two of Dino Fury because I get the feeling the Morphin Masters and their story isn't over just yet. So what do you think the Morphin Masters created and what do you think they didn't create? Tell me in the comment section down below because like I said, these guys, their story, their journey, it isn't over just yet and I get the feeling they're gonna show up in later episodes of Dino Fury and sometime in season two. I don't know, that's my theory, that's my speculation. I could be totally wrong, but I feel like there's more to the Morphin Masters that we're going to learn about in Dino Fury as the season goes on. So with that said, I think I'm going to bring this video to a close. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and don't forget to turn on notifications. Also, share this video with a friend on social media. Share it around, see if they like it or not. Special thanks to all the members, such as Swagger4. If you want to get, you know, shouted out at the end of a video like Swagger4, over here become a Zord tier member or hire for special perks on the channel such as your name in the credits of every video shout outs and other perks listed on the channel like badges emojis you can use in the chat and in the comments some really cool stuff you get to use if you become a member on the channel with that said i'm going to bring this video to a close thanks for watching have a wonderful day or night bye